What's up guys, it's your girl True Cash, and today you will learn what is the difference between training versus exercising and at the end of this video you will know what you should focus on in order to improve your performance at the gym. So check it out. So you've been exercising for a long time, you've been working hard, but recently you noticed that you're not getting stronger anymore you're not improving your endurance and your overall performance on the gym kind of plateau. And the reason why is maybe because you're exercising instead of training. So let me explain. So last summer, my dad was remodeling his house and he asked me to help him with construction work. So what I was doing is I was carrying a cement bags from the truck to his house and they were around like 25 to 50 pounds. Also, I was carrying a wheelbarrow with full of dirt to his yard. And I was doing that whole day. And after the whole day of construction work, I definitely felt like I was exercising and I was working out, right? I was feeling all my muscles working. I was doing type of like a lunging type of movements and carrying movements. And I definitely burned like thousand calories. I was sweating uh, and I was tired, right? And I remember after the whole day of work, my dad told me, you see, Lucas, you don't really have to go to the gym. That's, you can just work with me and you're getting all the exercising here. You don't need a gym, right? And I thought to myself, but you know what? I don't really exercise. What I do is train. So what is the difference? So exercising is just a physical activity that is performed for the effect that, pro that it produces during that physical activity, during that exercise uh, duration, right? So for example, let's say you're running, you're exercising, and during that time, what you will achieve is you're probably gonna elevate your heart rate, you're gonna sweat, right? You're probably gonna uh, burn uh, tons of calories. Um, so that's, that's, you know, exercising, right? It's just a physical activity that is performed for the effect it produces during that workout or exercise duration. And it can be just randomized or it can be just done, you know, in a more structured type of a way. Um, sometimes what I see is that, you know, especially with new people when they come into the gym, uh, they don't really know what to do and they're being overwhelmed by the amount of, um, equipment that is available in the gym, like they see, for example, tons of free weights or different type of machines. And so what I do is that I see sometimes that people just doing random type of uh, exercise, like they're gonna grab a pair of dumbbells and they're gonna do some bicep curls or maybe they're gonna do some leg presses or maybe they're gonna do some type of a silly type of movements that they've seen um, on Instagram. And maybe next day they're gonna take a bootcamp class and next week they're gonna do different types of exercises with different rep ranges, different you know sets and stuff like that. So that's pretty much exercise. It's just a physical activity, uh, but it's not training. So most people, what I see is that they exercise, but they don't train. So what is training? So if we wanna achieve um, a specific uh, performance goal, so for example, let's say we wanna improve our strength, or we want to improve our endurance, or let's say we want to prepare for a um, you know, weightlifting competition or a triathlon, what we want to do then is we want to train, uh, not exercise. So what is training? So training is a physical activity that is performed to produce a stress to satisfy long-term performance goals. And training is not only necessarily about the workouts themselves, but it's about the process. And the training process is about specific plan, is about the program that includes specific exercises selections, specific intensities, rep ranges, to satisfy that specific performance goal that we wanna achieve. So let's say, for example, we wanna compete in a powerlifting meet, right? And we're doing tons of swimming, tons of running and cardio, right? And we're technically exercising because, you know, we, we, we're sweating, we're burning calories, right? But we're not really training because it's not specific for the uh, goal that we wanna achieve. Obviously, we want, if we wanna compete in a powerlifting meet, what we would do is, you know, we would probably do tons of squats, deadlifts, and um, strengthening exercises, but not, you know, tons of cardio. So think about exercises as tools that's gonna help you to achieve a specific goal, right? So the exercises are just tools. And think about training as a guide, as a map, that's gonna allow you to get from point A to point B. So a good analogy for that would be, for example, let's say you wanna drive from Chicago to New York, right? And what you would do is probably you would have a map or you get that, you put on the GPS how to get to New York from Chicago, you know, the quickest, the safest, and the most, in the most effective way, right? So that would be like training plan, right? Exercising, you would be just like driving from Chicago to New York without a map, without a, you know, GPS, you would just probably take random streets 
and we'll probably never go to get to uh, New York. I'll probably get lost and, and I'll probably would take you like, I don't know, months to get to New York. So that would be like exercising, right? So we were talking about that the training process is very specific, right? It includes specific exercises, selection, intensities, and, and so on, right? Also, um, training process includes progressive overload. So that basically means that each week, each workout, what we're trying to do is increase the intensity of the workout or of the exercise in some way. So for example, maybe we're gonna increase the weight on the bar or maybe our breaks between the exercises is gonna be shorter or maybe we're gonna increase the speed uh, during certain movements. So, uh, so basically the training process includes the progressive overload. And also what we wanna do during the training process, we wanna track our intensities. So we're not just doing you know, random weights or random uh, reps, ranges or sets each week, we're actually tracking everything, right? So let's say, you know, Monday you did squats with 200 pounds for five reps, we're tracking and documenting that, and next week maybe we're doing squats with two or five pounds for five reps as well, right? So, so, it's, uh, so we're tracking the process. Also, um, what we wanna do is, uh, including the training program, is uh, fatigue management meaning that you know, you're structuring your workouts where maybe some of the workouts are gonna be more intense and other workouts maybe gonna be a little bit lighter, maybe gonna be a little bit easier so your body have time uh, to recover and, um, and rest it's, it's, so that's gonna prepare your body for, uh, to, to, for adaptation, right? So, so again, so the training process includes, uh, is specific, includes um, progressive overload and also fatigue management. And I'm not saying that exercising is bad for you. I think people should exercise. I think exercise is great uh, for overall health, is good for your heart. And for example, let's say if your goal is just to lose weight, you can achieve that through exercising, right? If your nutrition is correct, if you are consistent with your workout, you're gonna be able to lose weight through exercising, right? Also, let's say you like to do you know, different workouts each week for fun because you, know, you are bored with just doing the same thing. You can do that through exercising, right? And, and it's good overall for your health and obviously it's better than just staying at home. Also, if you are just complete beginner, you're gonna be probably, you're gonna probably uh, improve your strength and also your endurance, your performance uh, is gonna go up because you're going from no physical activity to a physical activity, right? So you, your body will adapt and progress. However, over time, if you're just exercising, you're gonna plateau. And if you wanna you know, achieve some more specific performance goal, let's say you wanna compete in a powerlifting meet and you wanna improve your strength, or let's say you wanna prepare for a triathlon competition and you wanna improve your conditioning, then what we want to do is do a training process, training program instead of just exercising, right? All right guys, so I hope that makes sense. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Also, let me know what are you currently working on and what would like you achieve. If you need any help with our training program design, you can hit me up on lgultimatetraining.com. Otherwise, if you found this video valuable, make sure you subscribe. Stay focused guys, work hard, and I'll see you soon. Take care.